This video covers how to set up a simulation in Sapphira's web application. In this video, I'll give an overview of the lay of the land of the web application, where different types of inputs and outputs live, and how they are structured. In other videos, I'll dive deeper into specific categories of inputs, such as envelope or shading inputs, as well as the different types of outputs. First, let's take a look at the overall structure of the web application. At the top, in this blue bar here, you see a comparison grid to be able to compare design options. I only have one option here, a baseline, but we can begin to create clones and comparisons, and you'll be able to see those stacked up at the top part of the page. These comparisons can be of different massings, different building options, different mechanical systems, or different energy conservation measures. It's essentially any type of comparison you want to make. Below that comparison grid are inputs and outputs. On the left side of the screen are all of the inputs that go into running a simulation. And on the right side are the outputs. Whatever option is selected on top, those are the inputs and outputs that you'll be seeing on the bottom. If you want to change the selection, simply click the row, uh, and then you'll be editing the inputs and viewing the outputs of a different design concept. Let's talk for a moment about analysis results. When you first create a project, we run a simulation and show the results. If you change the value, either an HVAC system or a property of the envelope, you'll notice that the outputs gray out and an update icon appears. This indicates that you need to rerun the analysis to see more recent results. You can also adjust the results that are shown in the comparison grid by clicking on any of the column headers and choosing other outputs. Okay, let's take a look at the inputs. Now, as I said, We'll dive into each of these tabs uh, more deeply in other videos. For now, let's just get a sense of what the different Im inputs are and where they live. In the Envelope tab, this obviously controls properties of the building envelope, the wall assemblies, the roof, the floor, uh, the window types, and you can also adjust the building orientation in this tab. You can begin by selecting from a default baseline, such as an ASHRAE baseline, 90.1, or a Part L baseline, or you can define a custom set of inputs. In the Shading tab, you can add shading to the model. You can either analyze shading that's already been drawn in the physical SketchUp model, or you can add shading parametrically inside the web application. In the Space Use tab, you can define the usage of the building. You can begin by selecting from a template that has been provided, or you can create a custom set of inputs by adjusting things like the occupant density, equipment power, and schedules of the building. The air side and water side tabs control the properties of the HVAC system which you select up here in the row uh, where the design concept is shown. So if you change the type of system, uh, the sorts of inputs that you will see in the air side and water side tab will change accordingly. I should mention that the detailed HVAC inputs are only available in the Sapphira Systems version of the web application. If you have Sapphira Architecture, the general layout is the same, but you won't be able to control the details of the HVAC system. These tabs will simply be absent from your version of the application. The Natural Ventilation tab allows you to explore a naturally ventilated or mixed mode building. The PV tab allows you to add sol solar photovoltaic panels to your building. And the Zoning tab allows you to control the zoning of your building. You can choose from the basic zoning strategies, perimeter core, one zone per floor, or a detailed room by room analysis. And you can also begin to change the space use types on a zone by zone basis. So if you have a multi-use building, you can begin to configure different zones uh, or different space uses 
depending on the zones that you've defined in your building. Let's go through the output tabs briefly. Now the same thing applies here. Some of these output tabs are not going to be visible in the architecture version of the web application. What we're looking at now is the energy results tab. You can look at total energy use, uh, cost, or CO2 output. In the peak loads tab, you'll be able to see peak loads broken down on a floor by floor basis if your building has multiple floors and a zone by zone basis. You can look at either heating or cooling. Zone sizing will show you sizing on a, again, floor by floor or zone by zone basis. You can also look at it in an area weighted way. We already looked at the energy breakdown. Free area is a way of looking at whether or not you have enough operable uh, glazing or operable openings to get enough natural ventilation in your building. The comfort tab allows you to see thermal comfort types of outputs to get a sense of how comfortable the space is. And again, there are several different types. We'll be diving into these in more detail in other videos. And the final tab here is a plant sizing tab. This allows you to see sizing of the HVAC equipment on an overall basis or an area weighted basis. So that gives you a brief overview of the structure of the Sapphira web application. Uh, in future videos, we'll be diving into this in much more detail.